suffering in the Stanley Cup Game 7 Final and to do Dracula's Castle. It's a bit late, so this will be a briefer vlog than I've done for other attractions here on Niagara, as it's the last one I'm doing here before I head back to Toronto. I'll be back again probably in a week's time or two weeks' time to cover some of the other scare attractions here, which I hope to get my girlfriend involved in, because the ones that I have left to do are even more intense, or notoriously more intense, than this particular one. That being said, there is a constant deluge of people in Niagara that want your attention. Not just from the attractions, but just the people on the street. I don't know, maybe it's the jersey, I don't know. But we're going into the castle, and I'll give you my review when I come out. A step here. Yeah. It's so dark. someone following me. Is there someone? We have some focus problems over here. I 
am on the max level of scare. Mannequins and prosthetics in this particular scare maze are very good. There's nothing moving, however. I have a feeling I'm being followed! Okay, so I've been destitute, I'm like, whatever. We lost the final, so I'm just like, whatever. I'm just gonna just do whatever. What? Just try to scare me. Try to scare me. I hate that I'm contextualizing this part of the vlog, but it is the Game Seven Stanley Cup Final tonight, which just happened, which I watched uh, at Boston Pizza, uh, which pretty much is like a place that I go to all the time when I'm on the hill. It is the most uh, uh, brandy type of place that you can go to on Clifton Hill, but that being said, the service is always good, and uh, you know, they, they basically do it right, so that's why I go there. Uh, now getting back to Dracula's Castle, which I just finished, uh, I had heard a lot about this being the scariest attraction on Niagara Falls uh, list of scare mazes, and I don't think that's the case. It costs $10 to get in. And I went through it, as you've seen in the uh, coverage there, relatively fast compared to the House of Frankenstein just north of here. Nothing to say bad about it other than it's a different experience. It's just you're going through uh, some dioramas. There's no uh, air jets, there's no strobes, there's no uh, major scares other than uh, usually the gentleman that's or lady that's hanging out in the lobby is probably the person that's going to scare you in the attraction. In fact, I know that was who it was when I came here, so um, we were already familiar when uh, uh, I started the experience. Uh, we had a little bit of fun in there, as you can hear, and it was good. Uh, it, it, Ten bucks, it's a little bit cheaper, no tax involved, than, uh, say, what you got at the House of Frankenstein, but uh, overall I'd say it's a kind of cool experience. Uh, if, you, if you're dealing with people like in groups, like families and stuff like that, and you want to take them in one of these attractions, I think that might be the first one you want to take them into, because it's just not going to hit you with scares like the other ones do. It's Clifton Hill. It is loud, just like myself. And my name, something similar. So anyway, uh, yeah, Dracula's Castle, I definitely would rate it a lot of points under House of Frankenstein if I had a rating system of any sort to apply to what's happening throughout all of these Scare Mazes reviews. I wish I was in better spirits. I just lost the final. But it is what it is. You guys now know where my allegiances lie. House of Frankenstein, excellent times. Dracula's Haunted Castle, probably set that up in a high school production at the end of the day, but it's Niagara Falls, it is what it is. If you like waxworks, go to Dracula's Haunted Castle. If you want to take your kids through a scare maze, Dracula's Haunted Castle. That is your option. If you want to get scared, House of Frankenstein, definitely a better option. Fuck of shame has now ended, and I'm on my way back to the car, because, uh, yeah, there's nothing really left to do. Niagara Falls on a weekday generally closes around midnight. Uh, in the weekends, the attractions, especially on Friday and Saturday, will stay open. Well, the majority of the uh, bigger ones will be open till 2 in the morning, which is nice and convenient. Uh, a lot of these attractions have been here for... 30, 40, 50 years even. I'm pretty sure that the Dracula's Haunted Castle has been here for 50 years, which is 
Another reason why you probably should check it out, just because of the fact that it has some legacy here. There are some scare mazes that are coming up in my next part of this video, which are screamers. Uh, a, I'm still trying to find the official haunted house on Clifton Hill, which is like in an obscure spot. I don't understand why I can't find it. Um, but uh, there's nightmares. There's a lot of attractions still to go. So there's a lot to look forward to. Um, but my night is done tonight. Because, yeah, unfortunately the mood is a little bit dour. I should never wore this jersey. It is what it is, as I say too many times. But here's closing out the first part of this vlog of Niagara Falls Attractions.